The Law Enforcement Standing Committee has had a great year working on new resources for the AMVA community. The Ignition Interlock Working Group is revising the 2015 Ignition Interlock Program Best Practices Guide with a focus on developing a solution for reciprocity challenges to allow Ignition Interlock participants to successfully comply with any jurisdiction's program requirements. The group is also creating an updated training video for law enforcement, illustrating how to handle vehicles equipped with interlock devices during roadside stops. The Disability Placard Fraud Working Group is drafting a best practices guide for the issuance of disability placards and plates, the deterrence and detection of fraud, and the enforcement of disability parking violations. AMVA has become a leading national voice on the issue, presenting at the U.S. Access Board International Parking Institute and joining the Accessible Parking Coalition. The Suspended Driver Alternative Reinstatement Working Group is updating the 2013 Best Practices Guide to Reducing Suspended Drivers, addressing alternatives to traditional or established license reinstatement practices without sacrificing highway safety, with a particular focus on younger drivers. The Nevitas Law Enforcement Working Group continues to work to increase law enforcement awareness and usage of the Nevitas Law Enforcement Access Tool. And the Law Enforcement Standing Committee has worked on the updated Fraud Detection and Remediation, or FDR, e-learning program. FDR is AMBA's most widely accessed training program. The 2018 annual update features a number of important enhancements and new information. FDR continues to expand every year and now contains training modules and supplements in the authentication of more than 12 document categories. The Law Enforcement Standing Committee has been hard at work, inspiring collaboration between law enforcement, driver and motor vehicle administrators to improve highway and public safety.